I'm shocked at first to listen to this album, okay? Capitol Records, they've done a bunch of great stuff. Lots of lots of famous artists have been signed to Capitol Records. But there's a lot of there's a lot of I mean mediocre artists. You probably haven't heard of them then. But the great ones there, a lot of good stuff at Capitol. So we have Fly Lake and Eagle. It's underrated. I, as someone being a big Eagles fan and kind of like a big, big prog rock fan, I was like, hey, Steve Miller, his debut album, little, not many people know this, is like a psychedelic rock album. He has that type of voice. I, before I said that, I even said he has like a psychedelic rock kind of voice. I was right, because I listen to a lot of music. And, and I borrowed this from said person that I keep mentioning throughout many of my videos, she hadn't heard it, and I listened to it, and I said, man, this is a good album. And she listened to it, she was like, dude, this is a good album. Lo and behold, it's a good album. Quite solid. Um, very commercial. I know people don't tend to like the commercial stuff, but just give this a listen. It's it's poppy. Bit of country influence. Bit of psychedelic influence. Especially on the title track. Uh, Wild Mountain Honey, great song. Serenade, Dance, 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 Mercury Blues. Very bluesy. I think... I think that's like a cover of an old blues song. Take the Money and Run, great song. Rockin' Me, you still you still hear those two on the radio. Uh, basically every day. You Send Me, Blue Odyssey, Sweet, Marie, and The Window. Great songs. Um, I'm gonna tell you a bit about the cover of this. So the cover of this, you I mean obviously, Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. That's the title, Capitol Records. There's Steve Miller, but he's a right-handed guitarist playing a left-handed guitar. Hey, why is he playing a left-handed guitar, you may ask? Well, that was Jimi Hendrix's guitar. But before he died, he ordered two left-handed Fender Stratocasters. Steve Miller bought both of them. He bought both of them. So he's playing one here. I don't know what the other one looks like. So this is the only Steve Miller band album I have, but gave him like an iconic guitar sound Steve Miller, uh, underrated guitarist, especially on Manuel, like Rockin' Me. That's a good song. So, highly recommend the album. Um, might as well open it up, because, I mean, this is an unboxing slash review. I should start titling my videos unboxing slash review. They'll probably get more views. And you can't spell review without view. All right, side one. It's kind of a plain this but i mean it transitions over and it gets orange orange is a nice color all right lots of nice things are orange like the sun and fire and craft mac and cheese so if you like craft mac and cheese i recommend you check out this album um and because it reminds me of this uh look up the studio c crown song um it's just it's great I was going to say jaundice, but jaundice is yellow. So, um, I guess there's a bit of yellow. Anyways, while I'm... There we go. Some of these are a bit annoying to get back in the plastic sleeve. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.